Hello friends, welcome to Deception. In this video, we are going to solve problems based on latent key. But before starting, make sure that you are subscribed to Deception and if you do like this video, hit the thumbs up and share it to the friends. The first problem is, in the first problem, I am going to give you a concept of the heating curve and the problem is like this. A piece of ice is, heating, is heated at constant rate. The variation in temperature with time of heating is shown in the graph. You have to say what is represented by the part AB and what is represented by the part CD. Also, what conclusion can we draw about the nature of ice from the graph? So, you can see the graph is plotted for temperature versus time. In the y axis, we have temperature, right? And initially, it is minus, it is showing minus 10 degrees centigrade. That is, it is ice in solid state. On further heating, the temperature rises to 0 degrees centigrade, which is the solid state of ice. And uh, the, you see the temperature remains constant over here that is ice is absorbing heat energy and is melting right so AB denotes the melting of ice on further heating already the ice has been converted into water so this is the temperature rise of water or the temperature rise of water okay then we have CD you can see again a planar or a straight line so over here water is absorbing heat energy to boil or it is uh, CD is representing the boiling of water so the third question was what conclusion do you draw regarding the nature of ice so it will be that ice is initially at minus 10 degrees centigrade that is in solid state on further heating it moves on to 0 degree centigrade where it absorbs some heat energy to get converted into water and that is the latent heat we will move on to question number 2 which is how much heat energy is released when 5 gram of water at 20 degree centigrade changes into ice at 0 degree centigrade take specific heat capacity of water as 4.2 joule per gram per kelvin and specific latent of fusion has been given as 336 joule per gram if you understand this in phase you will note that initially water is at 20 degree centigrade its temperature drops down to 0 degree centigrade it, it is 0 degree centigrade of water right then it releases some 336 joule amount of energy and is converted into ice right so you, you get 0 degree centigrade of ice so the problem we considered of two part this low part which is the change in temperature part and this straight line which indicates the change of state whenever you will have change in state you will use latent heat and whenever there will be change in temperature you are going to use mc delta t right so let the first part be q1 the energy required to, make, uh, to drop the temperature of water at 20 degree centigrade to 0 degree centigrade it will be mc delta t the mass is given 5 the c you know 4.2 joule per gram and you know the change in temperature will be from 20 to 0 that is 20 minus 0 that is 20 so 5 into 4.2 into 20 this will be 5 to z 10 42 so 420 joule and for the second part you will require ml that is mass will remain same so 5 gram into latent heat that is 336 joule per gram 5 6 0 30 0 carry 3 5 0 15 3 18 8 carry 1 5 3 0 15 1 16 so 1 6 8 0 joule right the total heat energy will be q equals q1 plus q2 equals 420 plus 1680 that is 1700 and plus 400 that is 2100 joule the next problem is a refrigerator converts 100 gram of water at 20 degree centigrade to ice at minus 10 degree centigrade in 73.5 minutes you have to calculate the average rate of extraction in watt that is power the specific capacity of water has been given as 4.2 joule per gram per kelvin and you know specific latent heat of ice is 336 joule per gram per kelvin and also the specific heat capacity of ice is 2.1 joule per gram per kelvin okay so there are all, there will be three phases first of all 20 uh, water at 20 degree centigrade water at 20 degree centigrade will be converted to water at 0 degree centigrade then water at 0 degree centigrade will move on to 0 degree centigrade ice and then it will drop down to minus 10 degree centigrade ice so we will have three phases right we will calculate the energies as q1 q2 q3 right so let the first part q1 equal to mc delta t right that is mass of water will be what 100 gram 
you have specially capacity of water is 4.2 and the temperature drop will be from 20 to 0 that is 20 right so this will cancel this 42 to 0 84 that is 8400 joule and the next part we have ml that is 100 into latent heat of ice that is 336 so it will be 336 double zero joule and the third part ice the temperature of ice will drop down so you use mc delta t mass will remain the same 100 c of ice is 2.1 and temperature change is from 0 to minus 10 that is 10 right so this will be 2100 right joule we will add on to get the total heat Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 that will give us 8400 plus 33600 plus 2100 double 0 double 0 617 411 819 912 12 to 14 4 carry 1 3 3 1 4 so 44 100 joule this is the amount of heat that will be required right we have to find the average rate of extraction that is power Right, so power equals Q by T. So Q is what? 441 by T is 73.5. This will be converted into seconds. That will be by multiplying it into 60. This will give us 10. This will be cut it off. 735 divided by 44100. It will go by 6 nearly, I think. 735 into 6. 6, 5, 0, 30, 0, 3, 6, 3, 18, 3, 21, 7, 6, 0, 40, 21, 4. So, 4, 4, 1, 0, that is 60. Right, and this will cancel out 10. So, this will give us 10 watt. After doing some basic problem, let us get a step ahead. And the problem is like this. Find the result of mixing 10 gram of ice at minus 10 degree centigrade with 10 gram of water at 10 degree centigrade. Basic information. Specific capacity of water 4.2 joule per gram per Kelvin. Specific heat capacity of ice 2.1 joule per gram per Kelvin and specific latent heat of ice has been given as 336 joule per gram. So you have to find the result of mixing, right? You see, there will be two cases. What happens when we go up the curve? Right. When we go up the curve, the energy is required. And we and when we step down the graph what what happens energy is released right in this case we have two things ice and water they are being mixed now water is going to step down so it is going to release energy and ice is going to rise that is temperature is going to rise so it is going to absorb some energy right let us get us get in the problem we have 10 gram of ice at minus 10 degree centigrade right so it is going to first change its temperature let's say it is minus 10 degree centigrade it is 0 degree centigrade so it is going to first absorb some amount of heat energy let us denote it by q1 it will be mc delta t right mass is 10 gram specific heat capacity is what 2.1 and change in temperature is 10 2.1 into 10 is 21 and then 210 joule right now let us have a look at the heat released let us denote it by Q3. It will be Mc delta T. Right. Let it be at what? 10 degree centigrade. Yeah. And it is going to fall down. Right. Let it be 0 degree centigrade. So M is what 10 gram. C is 4.2. And the change in temperature from 10 to 0. So 10. So this is 420 joule. Out of 420 joule, 210 joule is what? is being utilized to change the temperature from minus 10 to 0. We know the latent heat of ice is 336 joule per gram, right? So whatever will be the amount of heat energy required, it will, let us denote it by Q2, it will be ml, right? It is mass times latent heat. So it will be 336 m. So it is, it will, it is definitely going to be greater than 210, uh, that is the difference between these two. Are you getting my point? Let us uh, see this is the amount of heat energy that will be required and this is the amount of heat energy that will be released. Right. So first consider this one. 
we have 410 joule out of which 210 joule is required for this so remaining 210 joule is available for this right and we and we know the specific limit of ic is 336 right so all the mass cannot melt right because if you have mass equal to 1 so you see it becomes 336 joule so it cannot be right so we need to find how much ice is going to melt so our equation will be as per law of conservation of energy it will be 210 plus 336 m equal to 420 that is 336 m equal to 420 minus 210 that is 210 and m will be equal to 210 by 336 which will be cancelled by 3 as 70 and this will be 112 so it will give us uh, 0 0.06 672 it will be 28 0 20 224 this will be 630 56 0 50 560 right so it is 0.625 grams of ice is going to melt and the temperature will be 0 degree centigrade of the resulting mixture moving on to the last problem we have 200 gram of ice at 0 degree centigrade converts into water at 0 degree centigrade in 1 minute when heat is supplied to it at a constant rate in how much time 200 gram of water at 0 degree centigrade will change to 20 degree centigrade and you have specific latent heat of ice at 336 joule per gram right so 200 gram of ice we is converting into water at 0 degree centigrade since the temperature is constant let it be q1 so it will be ml that is latent heat so m is what 200 gram and latent heat of ice is 336 this will be 726 67200 joule of heat energy will be taken you have time as 1 minute so power can be taken out q by t q is what 67200 and time is what 1 minute that is 60 seconds this will cancel out this 610 so 112 watt right in the second part you have how much time 200 gram of water will change to 20 degrees centigrade right let the heat be q now here you have change in temperature so you use using mc delta t m is what 200 c is 4.2 you know and delta t is from 0 to 20 so it will be 20 minus 0 that is 20 right this will be 84 84 and 00 0 84 2 0 1 6 8 84 2 0 1 6 8 joule right power you know 1 1 2 and that is q by t you have to find t right so t will equal 1 6 8 double o by 1 1 2 this will cancel out and this one dividing 1 6 8 0 by 1 1 2 this will give you what 1 0 1 1 2 right this will be 6 5 6 0 oh. so this will be 5 0 5 6 0 oh. that is 15 seconds so 15 seconds will be required by the water to change from 0 degree centigrade to 20 degree centigrade well that's it for this video more videos are coming soon till then stay tuned